first graders today is may 27 2020 it is wednesday um today what we're going to do in reading and writing is we're going to look at the story called shoemaker and the elves and we're going to write the story as if we were one of the elves making the shoes so i was thinking that we could focus on the part where he makes his first shoe so I can say I made shoes for the shoemaker, but is that exciting? Not really. So I'm going to use the words first because it tells me what happened first. So what did we do first? Maybe we heard that the shoemaker needed money and he was going to make shoes. That's a good idea. Um, but if I just wrote first, I heard the shoemaker talking to his wife. Is that exciting? Not very exciting. So what can we say? First, I heard the kind shoemaker. Mm-hmm. So first I heard the kind shoemaker talking to his wife. What can we do to make that sentence a little bit more interesting? Can we use another word so talking? We could say shouting, whispering. What about describing his wife? What are some words we can use to describe his wife? So I'm gonna, I heard somebody say, whisper. So we're gonna say, whisper to his wife. So I first I heard the shoemaker whisper to his wife. And what happened next? Next, I learned that we did have money That's a good one. So next, I heard that the shoemaker needed money. So if you're going ahead and copying the my story right now, what I want you to try to do is right here in this sentence, I want you to try adding some adjectives to make the story more interesting. Maybe a word to describe money, like he needed a lot of money, a little bit of money, or he needed a thousand dollars. That's your choice. Um, so next I heard that the shoemaker needed money. I wanted to help. And how did the elf help the shoemaker? Mm -hmm. He helped by making the shoes. So we can use something to describe the shoes. Maybe I decided to help by making the most beautiful shoes. I decided to help by making pink and yellow shoes. Those all work. But I'm going to say then I helped by making I'm going to say golden shoes. You can use whatever adjective you would like for the word shoes. Then I helped by making gold shoes. Finally, what happened last in this, in this? The shoemaker woke up and he found what? He found the shoes and he felt 
happy was another word we can use to describe how he felt. Surprised, thankful, grateful. Those are all really good sentences. So I'm going to say finally, he felt surprised when he saw the, and I'm going to use an adjective here, beautiful. So what I just did now, first graders, was I wrote a part of the story from the point, the viewpoint of the elf. So if I was the elf, this is what I would write if this was my story. Um, you could choose to copy the story, but I want you to add your own adjectives. So maybe an adjective to describe the shoemaker, an adjective describing the wife, um, an adjective describing the shoes, and I want you to add some feeling words, like how did he feel at the end of the story? How did he feel at the beginning of the story? These are all things you can add to make the story a little bit more interesting. Um, remember, don't worry too much about spelling. I want you to use your sounds. But I want you to remember your capital letters, your periods, and make sure that your sentence makes sense. All right. So that is the end of today's lesson for reading. Um, as always, be safe, be kind, and wash your hands.